Hello guys, my name is Scott Free 3 I am a PC Black Ops player and I uh, I make Black Ops videos and I put them up on YouTube for you guys to watch. So uh, in this video you're going to see two Hanoi games that I got using the AUG in TDM. And I'm going to be explaining the best ways I find to play Black Ops in general, this map, and uh, the differences between the PC and the consoles as I am a, I'm a PC gamer and I always have been. So uh, without further ado, a little tip I'd like to give you about Black Ops is always use the class you feel comfortable with. And uh, my example with that would be when I first started off this game, uh, getting to level 50, I used the AK-47 religiously with Harden Pro because that's the class that got me the good kills and the good games. But uh, when I prestige and lost the AK-47, I moved to the AUG H-bar, or the AUG, sorry, it's not H-bar. And uh, I am sticking to the AUG now for uh, for my first prestige, which I uh, I don't think I'll be prestiging much further because uh, I just really don't want the hassle of uh, of getting all my, my uh, attachments and guns back. But uh, in this video, you're going to see me using the AUG with sleight of hand, ghost and marathon. Secondary, I use Estrella to uh, mainly not to shoot down the UAVs, but uh, if I have to, to help my teammates, but mainly to shoot down uh, any helicopters and anti-spy planes because uh, I, uh, I really enjoy my my UAV. So if you go to my channel, you're going to see these KD clinic games, and that's me getting my KD up only in team deathmatch from a 1.66 to a 2.66 which uh, for PC is uh, is quite a decent KD because it's very difficult to get uh, high KD games in pay PC one reason fast reaction time of the enemy players and the second is there's more people in each game but I'll go into that later if you see on this game uh, on Hanoi I'm staying to the left side of the map and I'm using these kind of these square garden sections as cover while I'm rotating between each of the enemy spawns and if you're using a sniper or a rifle class I'd recommend you stay on this side of the map on the outside and just alternate between the two spawns while you're picking the guys off as they die and respawn. Um, if you're using an SMG I'd recommend you go to the other side of the map and maybe use a uh, steady aim or something like that and just alternate between the two spawns by the, the kind of the truck and the the two kind of warehouses and the bus and that's my uh, opinion if you want to use the kind of outside of the maps so you'll see a different style of game using the same class now in the uh, the second video but the one thing about the PC is that it's got the dedicated servers so this means it's got 18 players and there's no lag and you can choose your your ping and your uh, your uh, server locations and it's also if you look at the team that match score it doesn't go to 7500 it actually goes to 10,000 so because uh, there's more people it's a quicker paced game there's more of a score but I mean even the average video only lasts about five to six minutes which is why I actually linked these two videos together so uh, as you look here the hint that I would give you for this game is always move to cover and shoot from cover and um, I always gave this uh, these tips in Modern Warfare 2 because it was very simple to, uh, to get killed always move from cover shoot to cover yeah, sorry. Always shoot from cover and uh, always move to cover because there's always someone who's uh, in a corner or with a sniper from long distance that's gonna shoot you down. And uh, in these videos, I've actually quickened up the chopper gunner and the gunship so you guys don't get uh, too bored. So uh, another thing I'd like to say is the PC versus the console. Um, apart from the dedicated servers that the PC has, the main thing I find which is the reason I went to PC anyway is because of the control uh, it's because of con blah, 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 the controls um, on the Xbox and the PS3 you know you have your um, your controller which in my opinion when I pay it even on high sensitivity I find it's a very slow pace compared to the reaction and the accuracy that I get with the mouse even though you guys get uh, steady aim not steady aim sorry the uh, auto aim to give you a kind of assist you is getting that aiming because it's very difficult to get a precise aim. I mean, if you take off the auto aim, you'll probably find uh, it's very difficult to play. Personally, I find the steady aim makes it easier, but I have people who tell me that it's the other way around. But what I like about the um, PC is you can press five or six buttons in one go, quickly, efficiently, and smoothly, which uh, I can never do on the consoles. For example, if someone shoot me from behind, 
I can just swipe my mouse across, aim down sight, shoot, and at the same time I can be moving forward, proning, and uh, moving from left to right all in one go. So that's five or six buttons at the one go, which I could never do so efficiently on the the Xbox. And uh, this game here is just coming to an end. So as you see, the score goes to ten thousand in this uh, in the uh, PC servers as they end this. Uh, What's that? 28 to 7 or 38 to 7? I can't quite see on the Sony Vegas screen. But then we're going to go into the second game, which I actually spawn on the other side of the map. And the first thing I do is I'm going to head into this center building here. And for the whole game, I'm going to hold this building. And the reason for this is because it's so well placed. You've got two entrances and this window here. And I like to put a claymore on one end. I usually get a teammate, if possible, to put a claymore on the other end. And you get these three windows, which you're going to see. And uh, these three windows cover all the main highways in this map. So if you, with one or two players, can hold this position, uh, you can dominate the interior of the game and keep the guys to the outside. And as you saw in my last video, you might get one or two guys who could hold on the outside and kind of mop up as, uh, as people come in and out. But um, one thing I must say I find very difficult uh, in, the in Black Ops is multi-kills. Uh, I don't know if this is the same thing on um, console, but I find that uh, when I come into a room with three or four people, trying to get a spray is extremely difficult. Uh, you might get the first one or two guys, but the two or three guys will just then quickly, especially on PC, just switch the mouse around, give it a swipe, turn around, face you, and shoot you. And uh, that's the kind of stuff that I find very difficult, and I get these kind of uh, nasty, nasty deaths. And uh, at the moment on PC we're suffering from uh, frames per second lag. And what happens is uh, because the uh, because the game is constantly uploading to the Treyarch servers, a frames per second drop between 125 to 50 every one or two seconds, which is giving us a lag. And we're still waiting for the patch for that. Uh, when the first when the game first came out, it was unplayable. It was so bad, and they they gave a patch in a uh, about a week a patch came out for it, but they, they were expecting you know, another patch to uh, really give uh, us the advantage over the consoles, which is the better graphics, quicker gaming speed, and the higher frames per second. Um, as far as I know, the consoles have a 60 frames per second limit, whereas on PC, uh, mine is set currently to 125, but I mean, if I can get 150, I'll give it 150 because it's uh, a slightly smoother gameplay and easier to use. As that guy there nearly gets me in second chance, and this is actually a flawless game, and that's the uh, only time my life was really at risk. And uh, if you're ever shot like that, especially in, uh, in Black Ops, yeah, what I recommend you to do is uh, lay back, Relax, take it easy, let one of your other players top it up, uh, finish off the kill, even though you might only get an assist. And the reason for that is, it's not worth in this game, as the kill streaks, dying I mean, as as the kill streaks in this game are so, um, so dominant, uh, what you really need to do is you need to reserve your kill streaks. So if you think you're not going to make a gunfight or it's going to be 50-50, what's the point in risking it? Relocate. And if you can, as I said, relocate slightly to the left or the right, um, he's going to be aiming exactly where your head was. You can relocate slightly to the left or the right and pick him off with your with only one bullet. But uh, that's the kind of tips I would give and the tips I kind of I like to give. Um, I used to when I f this game first came out, I kept rushing and uh, it's not possible to rush like you did in Modern Warfare 2. So I've kind of come back to my old playstyle, which was the uh, I like to use the RPD, the, the light machine guns in uh, Modern Warfare 2. What I do is I, I simply just lay back in the maps and I pick people off from long distance while moving around in circles. Uh, alternate between the two spawns. The reason for this is uh, this way I can build up more kill streaks. I'm not camping in one location, I'm always moving. But what I'm doing is I'm playing reserved. I'm not, uh, I'm not pushing forward into their spawn because, especially in this game, I have one video up uh, on my channel where I'm on lunch and there's six guys in our spawn and then the enemy team spawns behind us and uh, it's this kind of stuff that uh, maybe it, it was to stop people being spawn trapped but unfortunately what's actually happened is it's uh, it's encouraging people to run into their spawn switch the spawns and then you know your own team is getting punished for that 
So uh, I think I can see this as 42 or 48 and 0. It's quite a decent game. Uh, my second only flawless on the PC, which I find is very difficult. But uh, if you like these videos, I'm sure my link will be in the description. And thank you very much to Machinima for letting me upload this video. Uh, if you like the layout, if you like Black Ops, or if you like Minecraft, please come check out my uh, my channel. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and uh, cheerio. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. There you'll find the latest updates from our premier directors and the Machinima Respawn team.